What's up guys, Wes Troop back again, and you know what time it is. It's that time of the month where I showcase what Blu-rays, 4Ks, whatever movies I picked up for the collection, uh, this time from the month of April. I got a lot this month, so let's just get right into it. Uh, first up on Blu-ray, I got this for free, Death on the Nile. It was a trade and that's how I got it for free. I didn't like steal it. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> This just came out a couple months ago in theaters, um, so I do have my review up on this channel, so go check that out for my thoughts on that. Uh, so, Death on the Nile. I just picked up Murder on the Orient Express, um, like last month or the month before on Blu-ray, so. Also for uh, trade-in, I got Nightmare Alley on Blu-ray. Bradley Cooper and a whole bunch of cool people. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro directed this. Uh, it was up for Best Picture as well. Um, I, I do have my review up for that as well. So check that out. Nightmare Alley. Happy to have that in the collection. That is on 4K as well as along with Death on the Nile. But it was an offer I couldn't refuse. So... Uh, also, I, I got in for store credit. I love you, man. Uh, I really enjoy this comedy. Uh, had it on DVD and upgraded, obviously. I don't see it around very often, so I thought I would definitely pick that up. Uh, definitely a great comedy. I love Jason Siegel, so, and of course Paul Rudd's great too. So, happy to have that upgraded. Uh, Here's a, a double feature, I suppose you could say, that I picked up at Goodwill. Night at the Museum, Battle for the Smithsonian, and Night at the Museum, uh, Secret of the Tomb. So I wanted to get these because Robin Williams is in both of them, obviously. I remember thinking this one was eh, and this one was a little better. So, But I, of course, the first one's the best. But I wanted to get all three for the collection. So got uh, the last two Night at the Museum movies. <laughs> Uh, here's a movie. This is the first time in the collection for this one. Empire State. This was also a Goodwill pickup. Uh, we got The Rock, we got The Lesser Hemsworth, and we got Emma, um, Roberts. I almost said Emma Stone. Definitely not. <laughs> I remember, I, I actually reviewed this a long time ago as well when it came out, when I think from Redbox. So, I remember thinking it was fine. So, Empire State. I rarely see that title, so I figured that would be a good pickup as well. Also from Goodwill, uh, if you're like me and just watched the, Nic the new Nicolas Cage movie, you'll know <laughs> Paddington 2 has a part in that movie. So uh, this I picked this up before I saw that movie, so this was even funnier, actually. So Paddington 2, uh, I do have the first one, but it's on DVD, so I do have to upgrade. But this is the first time in the collection for this. And this was... The highest greatest, greatest movie on Rotten Tomatoes for a long time with 100% and then someone had to ruin it. Of course someone had to ruin it. But Paddington 2, it is a great film. Uh, also from Goodwill, I picked up Megamind. Uh, I had this on DVD, upgraded it, obviously. Um, I remember liking this when it came out. So, yeah, Megamind should be fun. I, well, yeah. <laughs> Should be fun. Um, yeah, I remember liking this when it came out, so why not? Why not upgrade it, right? And also, I picked up the steelbook for this last month for the remake. Now I upgraded the original. I found West Side Story as well at uh, Goodwill. So I thought this was an obvious choice. I had this on DVD. Upgraded to Blu-ray. Um, hopefully it'll come out in 4K sometime. That would be cool. But anyway, West Side Story, the original. And now for my A24 pick of the month, which also I have this shirt that I got in the mail <laughs> through uh, T Public, I think it was this time. Anyway, but yeah, I gotta gotta represent the A24. Uh, this is a movie that I've first time in the collection, and that is Eighth Grade. Uh, I watched this back when it first came out. And didn't review it for some reason. I think I don't know, remember why. But anyway, maybe I'll have to re-review it. But or actually review it. So eighth grade, obviously I enjoyed it that I would pick it up for the collection. But that is the A24 pick of the uh month. <laughs> now, these I found at yard sales. Uh a few Disney titles that I didn't have, and that is 
101 Dalmatians 2, Patches London Adventure. Don't remember what it was called. Never saw this one, uh, but I figured for a dollar, it's definitely worth adding to the collection. So there's that one. I can go right next to 101 Dalmatians. We got Tinkerbell. No comments. <laughs> uh... I've never seen this one, but I have seen some of these pixie movies. Uh, yeah, no comments on that one. <laughs> we have Bolt. Um, I've watched this for the first time a few years back. This was pretty good. So I, and I see it, don't see it very often at, out in public. <laughs> so, or in private for that matter. So I figured, yeah, that's a good pickup as well. This one I've been waiting on for a while. The Great Mouse Detective, because I, the few stores I've seen it in, they went like twelve ninety nine, and I'm like, I'm sure I will find it cheaper than that. And I sure did. So I do enjoy The Great Mouse Detective, though. I haven't seen it since I was a kid, but maybe it'll be time for a rewatch on this one as well. So I'm glad it shows persistence pays off, kids. All right, and this one I had on Blu-ray, but it was like destroyed in the flood. So we have Lady and the Tramp uh, that I picked up as well from that yard sale. So an another movie I haven't seen since I was a kid that I think we'll have to get a rewatch soon. All right. And then these I also picked up with store credit. So they were for free, basically. Um, oh, here we go. The Place Beyond the Pines. Obviously, I had this on DVD because of who's in it. Ryan Gosling. But... Uh, yeah, definitely wanted to upgrade. I was just saying how I haven't seen this on Blu-ray in a uh, at a store ever, and there it was. So perfect timing. Uh, also, th now these were in the clearance rack, so these are all upgrades. Oh well, no, except for one. So we have Pain and Gain, another rock movie in Wahlberg with uh, Michael Bay. Surprisingly, this one doesn't suck so bad. So, one of Michael Bay's better movies. So, uh, that's a great one. Or good, at least. Pineapple Express. Uh, this, actually, I had this on Blu-ray because I know I had this because this was the first Blu-ray I ever bought. And uh, I just had to... I, I got ruined, so I had to pick it up for the collection when I saw it for three bucks. Not a bad price. Uh, this I got on DVD for some reason during the, a few years back, the, um, Black Friday sale, Ready Player One, but I definitely wanted to upgrade. Uh, I did want to get the 4K, but it was like, you know, 20 some dollars and I'm like, eh, but for $3 on Blu-ray, I thought that was worth, definitely worth the upgrade. So there's Ready Player One. It takes place in Columbus, Ohio, by the way. And then we have, for $2, I picked up The Fifth Element on Blu-ray. This is another one I was waiting for the 4K, but for that cheap of an upgrade, I'm going to do it. So, Fifth Element, uh, man, I remember seeing this in cheap theater <laughs> when I was a kid. But yeah, I do enjoy that one. And then first time into the collection, Mary Poppins Returns, which I did enjoy as well uh, when I saw that in theaters. So, not as good as the original, of course, but not bad. So, first time in the collection, $3 for Mary Poppins Returns. Now on to the next pile. Oh, boy. Okay. So, Dollar Tree pickup, and it's an actually a known title. Ocean's 12. Awesome. Uh, now I just need Ocean's 13, and I have the whole set. I've only ever seen Ocean's 11 and 8, so... Maybe I'll have to watch this sometime if I... Get bored. Uh, also from Dollar Tree, and this is a good pickup. I have a review for this on my channel. Fences, Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. Uh, this was, a, I saw this and I was like, oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, uh, I really enjoyed this one. So if you haven't seen this and you see it at your Dollar Tree, definitely worth a pickup. Uh, this I found also at a yard sale. These next, uh, well, the next two are from a yard sale. Uh, and this... I would have bought so much more, but there was so much water damage done to these. This one was okay, though. And that is a 4K version of the Lion King remake. It was a dollar, okay? <laughs> I wanted to get it for the collection. I know, I know, it's not the greatest. I, I have the original sitting right here on 4K. 
which I, of course, if it's going to come down to, gee, which one do I want to watch if I want to watch The Lion King? Do I want to watch the original or the not even live action remake? It's always going to be the original. But you never know. I might have a guest over that wants to watch this for some reason. <laughs> or maybe for some, I don't know. I've, I've gone on way too long about this, but it was okay, I guess. It just is unneeded. All right, but, you know, I bought it, so. <laughs> and then this one's actually pretty funny that this one's water damaged because it's Creature from the Black Lagoon. Evidently was found on the bottom of the, of the lagoon itself. Um, does it say 3D glasses? Oh, no, just 3D version. I don't think it... No, it doesn't have 3D glasses, but... The disc was fine, so I figured a uh, Universal Monster movie that I don't have yet, uh, that was a great pickup, so... Maybe I'll find a better version of it somewhere and I'll upgrade, I'll just replace it. But just to have it in the collection seemed like a good idea. Uh, the next few are from Big Lots. Because once in a while you'll find great clearance deals at Big Lots. Uh, so I found, this is an upgrade, Blades of Glory. I thought this one is a funny one. Uh, not Will Ferrell's best, but certainly not his worst either. So this was $1.25, obviously. Grab it. This is a movie that was up for an Oscar for Best Animated Feature a few years ago. My Life as a Zucchini. Because I remember seeing it and going, what the hell is that? So maybe I'll find out what the hell this is and I'll watch it. But uh, yeah, it was right here. Academy Award nominee. So $1.25 for this and it's got the slip cover. So yeah, I figured that would be a good pickup as well. And I haven't seen this in a long time. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, $1.25. I remember liking it, so it's worth a pickup. All right. And then more some more Goodwill picks. We got a Tom Hanks Spielberg movie you don't hear much about. Uh, that is Bridge of Spies. I remember seeing this in the theater and, and enjoyed it as well. Up for some Oscars. So, and more uh, kind of an underrated movie. We have <laughs> going right on with Tom Hanks. And this is a movie I've never seen. The Polar Express. Uh, this was from Goodwill as well. I think I only paid two bucks for it. So, yeah, uh, I've always heard a lot of things about this, good and bad. So maybe come this Christmas, I'll actually watch it. We'll see. Uh, also from Goodwill, we have Trouble with the Curve, Clint Eastwood, Amy Adams, and Justin Timberlake. I reviewed this when it first came out, and I don't remember much about it other than the cast, and it has to do with baseball. <laughs> so I figure, uh, I don't think I've had this before, so I picked it up. So, yeah, why not? Uh, these next two are Dollar Tree as well, and known titles. The first one, this is actually an upgrade. Magic Mike. Once again, no comments. I actually do enjoy the Magic Mike films. For research purposes, of course. <laughs> and then we have uh, Robert De Niro and John Travolta in Killing Season. I've seen this one around at Red Boxes and other things, but I figure for a dollar on Blu-ray, I'm picking it up and finally biting the bullet. That's an... I've never seen that cover before. I didn't know what it was. That's the cover I've seen more. But when I saw, the, when I saw this, I'm like, is this the... Oh, yeah, there it is. John Travolta. So I did pick it up. Well, yeah, we'll see about that one. All right. And then... Got a little more here. We have... Half Price Books. Get Smart. Uh, this was an upgrade as well. Uh, I, I've only ever seen this once, and it was when it first came out, but I do en remember enjoying it. So, yeah, why not? Another rock movie, too. <laughs> That's three for this month's haul. Uh, My Week with Marilyn, another movie that I've only seen once but really enjoyed for my uh, Michelle Williams fixation. <laughs> I shouldn't really say fixation, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this film. So that's another kind of underrated one worth a watch if you ever find it somewhere. And also from Half Price Books, we have 28 Days Later. Uh, haven't seen this since it came out either, but I remember liking it. Um, have never seen the sequel. 
So I do want to pick that up if I ever see it around. So there it is, 28 days later. All right, and then these next few titles I picked up also from a yard sale for a good price. And the first one, Quentin Tarantino, Reservoir Dogs. Um, all right, I've never seen it. <laughs> I know that's going to be a surprise to some people, but... Uh, it's one of the few Tarantino movies I have not seen. And there's no good reason why. I just haven't. So, Reservoir Dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard a lot about it, though. And I, I did have it on DVD and upgraded to Blu-ray. So now maybe I'll finally watch it. We'll see. Uh, this one I do have seen before. Rocky Balboa. Uh, Rocky when he was older, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I remember liking this one as well. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah, what's his name? Is in this. Milo Ventimiglia. I was just like, is that who I think it is? And it is. So, yeah. I remember liking Rocky Balboa. And I have never seen this movie, but I did have it on DVD and wanted to upgrade for my Emma Stone collection, of course. The House Bunny with Anna Faris. And who else is in this other than Emma Stone? Uh, Catherine McPhee. Good Lord. Um... Colin Hanks, and that's all it says. <laughs> and whoever else, I'll have to IMDb it, but The House Bunny, if I ever get so bored that I want to watch that. I've heard it's okay. Uh, whew, another Travolta movie. Carrie. I, I have seen this, have reviewed it, have seen the remake. Uh, I like the original better. Um, I've heard, I think I saw a leak this week that this is coming out on 4K. But of course it would. This in Child's Play, but it may not be true. Who knows? You never know. You can never trust the internet. But Carrie, uh, to have the original in the collection, that's a great ad. And um, also another classic that I've never seen, cl another Clint Eastwood, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Of course, I will watch it sooner or later. Um, but definitely a Western that I want in the collection. I think that's the first time. I don't think I ever had it before. So, that leads us to the Criterions and the One Steelbook I, 4K I picked up this month. This I found just the other day at Goodwill, and I was so happy. Uh, it's a DVD, but it will do for now as a placeholder. Uh, and that is If, starring Malcolm McDowell. I just saw that C, and I'm like, I don't care what this is, I'm picking it up. So, <laughs> uh, Malcolm McDowell in If. I do want to check that out. I've heard a lot of people like it, that this is the film that got him a clockwork orange. So, good to know. And then we also have, uh, let's see, Lord of the Flies. I read this book in 10th grade, 9th grade? 10th grade, I think. Uh, and I remember liking it. So I thought, let's see this movie. This is from the 60s. And it's only 90 minutes, so that's not bad. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was interested in checking out the movie of that. Also from Criterion, we have Tokyo Drifter. I've heard this is a very interesting movie as well. It's from 1966. Another one from the 60s. Oh, only 82 minutes, wow. And, of course, it's in Japanese. Uh, so uh, I will be very interested in checking out Tokyo Drifter. Uh, this is a, movie, a Stanley Kubrick movie that I have yet to see. Speaking of Clockwork Orange, we have Barry Lyndon. I've heard a lot of good things about this, that this is one of Kubrick's best. This is a, a 185 minutes, so those short ones will be a blessing after this. But, <laughs> but you know Kubrick, he does have a lot of... Long movies, but they're worth it. So I'm, I'm very interested in checking out Barry Lyndon. And then we have a movie that I'm going to review this month, The Criterion, of Woman in the Dunes. I did see this one. Uh, it's two and a half hours about. Uh, look, I actually have it open. So there, you see the inside of it. They always have nice uh, features and whatnot. And booklets. So make sure you look out for my review of Woman in the Dunes coming to the channel. If it's not up already, it'll be up in the next couple days. So 
Woman in the Dunes. And then I did not get a chance to grab the Spider-Man No Way Home steelbook, which kind of makes me mad, but it is what it is. I didn't pre-order it, so that's what I get. But, uh, so I figure when I find it, I'll find it, right? But I did find one steel book for this 4K this month, and that is Scream 2022. Reviews up on the channel if you haven't seen it yet. So I thought this was a really cool steel book. And then check out the back. Awesome. For any fans of Ghostface, that's an awesome steel book. I missed out on the original Scream steel book, so that still makes me mad. But, and then the inside, you see the characters with the masks. So. Very cool. So that is everything I picked up this month. For May, it is my birthday month. So uh, hopefully I'll be getting a lot of gifts from everybody. <laughs> JK, JK. Uh, yes, just remember everything I have in my collection. <laughs> Already. But uh, yeah, hopefully there'll be a lot of pickups. I know Licorice Pizza's coming out this month. I'll probably get that on Blu-ray. And I didn't really see many other... 4k steelbooks that I really want that are coming out so we'll see next month I guess what I pick up but until then don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube youtube.com slash west side of 515 like the show on Facebook facebook.com slash west true playlist and of course you can follow me on the Twitter the Instagram and letterbox at west a list until next time troop out.